party. Ten minutes. Yeah, I know. I'm looking over the results right now. I'm just gonna have to keep trying. Sounds good. going on? So we a chemical alarm in holding cell B. I'm going to activate venting measures now. Shit. I need backup at chemical safe B, chemical safe Baker, ASAP. Let's go. Six of them! Don't let them get away with those cases, sir.
Tupamax what? 365. It's an acidic liquid gel based non-conductive. But if it's mixed with the correct explosives, it becomes gaseous and highly lethal. You mean like uh, white peat, huh? Worse. Imagine sulfuric acid completely burning your skin. And then just for kicks, it enters your respiratory system and eats you from the inside out in a matter of seconds. Jesus Christ, why the hell didn't anybody tell me about this stuff? Because Rowan, I was told to keep it under wraps. From me? Still no word from Washington, sir. What about Colonel Stevens? Stevens and his wife were found dead at their home. These bastards cut out the colonel's eyes for the retinal skin. Jesus Christ, any usable prints? No, nothing. The place is clean. Well, check out our stiffs, too. What the hell we're dealing with here? Yes, sir. Jesus. You know, you look like... Why don't you go on home? Huh? But if I hear anything at all, I'm going to have to call you, so be prepared. Thanks, Roman. Say hello to Michelle. Will do. You don't have to give up. I'm just saying you can't save everyone. Honey, I know that. Why don't we just move to Alaska? <laughs> That's a good place to raise kids. We talked about this once before. And you know as well as I do that we not have enough time for ourselves, let alone having kids. Huh? Yeah. I know, but... Someday, you and me will have a family. Just not now. Right. Just not right now. Hey. Mm. I love you. I love you. Then prove it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My team recovered bromix from Hussein's labs months before the war even began. Lucky for us, they didn't even know what it was. So a full-scale invasion was a perfect cover for further investigations? Correct. Did you lose any of your team members? <sighs> yeah. Six died from the Bromex before we knew what it was. And I was chosen to head up the reconnaissance missions because of my direct experience. Dr. Harding, your wife is here. Oh, go ahead, we can wait. That's some pretty serious shit. We don't know the half of it. Rick led four covert operations into various Iraqi labs and almost single-handedly destroyed all evidence that this stuff even existed. Excuse me. Excuse me. Honey, you all right? Yeah, just, um... There's something I wanted to tell you. Can't wait, I'm right in the middle of something right well, could now. Could we take a quick walk? Honey, I'll walk with you all, all you want tonight, but right now. Rick, um. Rick, we gotta lean on your Bromex. Let's go. Where? Pier 27. Come on. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Um, I'm interviewing the vice president on a flight to Washington tonight. I'll call you later. All right. Okay. okay. Bye. Okay, oh. wait. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Go. It's okay. Okay. What about this lead you're following? Two weeks ago, the DEA busted this guy in Long Beach. Cocaine. So he made a deal. But we don't know if this shipment's Bromex, right? <laughs> exactly. This is Unit 2. We're moving into position.
you been? You were supposed to meet me half an hour. Wait, 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 wait. where's Martinez? He's not here. Oh, freaking great. I'm the goddamn network representative on the most important interview of my life, and we don't have a cameraman? Did you call the station? Relax, Hertzberg. He will be here. I trust him. Yeah, well, if I don't have a camera here very soon, someone is going to lose their job. Why don't you go into the bathroom and fix your hair or your makeup or whatever it is you do? All right. What's the matter? Do I look good? Oh, shit. for more trade with China? Well, you can be sure that when we arrive back in Washington, it is something we'll be discussing with the president. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President where do you stand? That will affect the current relationship with Japan. Ah, well, let me just say that when Prime Minister Nakajima's in Washington next week, we'll be certainly discussing that as well, and I think we'll arrive at an amicable understanding so that all countries will be benefited. You really need to start boarding, sir. Please, 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 I'm sorry. As you can see, I've just been told it's time to go. Thank you all very much. Miss Harding, Stephen Finch, your new cameraman. What happened to Martinez? Had a family emergency, so the station sent me. I'm new. Well, um, okay. Uh, Phil, let's go. Oh, thank Christ. Miss Harding, is your crew set? Yeah. We had to replace our cameraman unexpectedly. I hope that won't be a problem. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, I'll just have to take a look at his camera before he boards. Sure. Yeah. I trust the rest of my equipment made it on board. the Bromex. I'm sorry, sir. It was all that was available in such a short notice. There's more taxpayers' money down the drain. And when are we meeting with the president? We're meeting for dinner, and you have the press conference tomorrow morning at 6.30. Are we dinner with him tonight? Yes, sir. What time is that? 8 o'clock sharp. This is Phil Hertzberg with Vice President Charles Baker. This is a conversation with Phil Good, Phil. Better believe it. Baker, I'm busy. This is a conversation with Phil Chuck. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, Bob Goulet. Don't screw up. My good buddy, Chuck Baker.
Miss Harding, you can set up your crew in about 10 minutes. That's fine, thank you. It's Emmy time. are being jammed to and from the plane. We are not able to contact them. Great. We have just received word from LAX security. They have discovered a body in Hangar 53. All right, we're on our way. Well done, Mr. Haynes. Your country will be proud. Expected otherwise? Right. You're all set to go, sir. Oh, good. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Michelle Harding. How do you do? Fine, thank you. Our cameraman will be in in a minute, but first, if it's all right with you, we'd like to go over the salient points of the interview. Of course. Please, won't you sit down? Hello, sir. I'm Phil Hertzberg. Hi. You've got my vote. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good to know. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Thank you. Please. I'll send you a copy. Good. Amy? Yes, sir, sure. of course. I'll send you a copy. This would be better. Position and standing by. Copy. Hold your position and wait for my signal. My Washington sources tell me that my my sources, my insides sources tell me I, this yes, camera guy. Office. Okay. Okay. Good. That's good.
Finch, are you all right? <laughs> Not a sound. Wise choice, Mr. Baker. Brian? Autopilot is activated. The plane is now yours, sir. Well done. Set new headings back to Los Angeles airspace. Dino, deactivate the scrambler. It's time to talk. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What you have done over in Asia is impressive. Who are you? And what do you want? Who I am is none of your business. And what I want right now is to make a phone call. So, where do we stand at the moment? All radio transmissions are still being jammed to and from 232. Well, there were three large crates that were shipped and loaded onto 232 from a Brandeis avionics, but uh, our traces have come up with no such order. My guess is there's a bad apple in the Secret Service. What the hell is this Bromex 365? Bromex is concentrated in small gelatin packs. And potentially, potentially the most destructive element ever created. Christ. Is there any kind of antidote? Yes, sir. A thousand milligrams of adrenaline to the back of the neck. Victims only have 15 seconds to administer the shot. scared and distressed. I'm sure you're aware of United States policy in dealing with terrorists. Oh, very. Mira. Get back in your seat. Now! Please don't make this any more stressful than it needs to be. Yeah, Martin here. Oh, there's something I gotta tell you. About what? We're getting a transmission from 232. Put it through. This is FBI Director Cole Park. To whom am I speaking? My name is Carlos Gruber, and I have seized control of Flight 232. Please say hello to one of our distinguished passengers. This is Vice President Baker. And yes, our flight has been hijacked. Our demands are simple. Paul Azrat has been held against his will for five years by your government. You will 
take him to LA International Airport, where we will pick him up and return him to his home country. For his pain and wrongful persecution, you will transfer $100 million through a network of accounts that I will designate later. We are heading back to Los Angeles now. I have loaded Bromex 365 and C4 onto this plane. If you do not comply with my demands, I will detonate this plane over the city. I'm sure you know what the effects of that will be. You have four hours to release Asrat and an additional half hour to transfer the money. Who is Carlos Gruber? Carlos Gruber's been on the UN's most wanted list for 10 years. Supposedly, he's handled over 20 acts of terrorism in 10 different countries. What do you mean, supposedly? Well, normally he's a ghost. He has no political allegiances, and he never takes credit for his work. He didn't seem too shy about taking credit for this. That's exactly what scares me. Who is this Azrat? Paul Azrat was put away on charges of chemical weapons misconduct by the UN just before the Gulf War started. And we just happen to be the host country for this guy. Agent Harding, in your opinion, what would the effect be of that plane exploding in Los Angeles? Well, sir, 120 gels were stolen last night. If properly used, that amount of Bromex could wipe out every living organism in a 200-mile radius. I'll brief the president. In the meantime, I want a full security blackout. Ron, assemble your best anti-terrorist unit and get me the probability of success for a plane-to-plane -plane transfer. I've got just a team for it, sir. Scramble a squadron of F-16s out of Edwards. Let's send these assholes a message. Los Angeles airspace now, sir. Very good. Set up our holding pattern, 28,000 feet. 28,000 feet, copy. I don't like having all these hostages. It's too risky. Can I get rid of some? Patience. Ain't time. Rowan, you gotta let me be a part of that team. I know more about Bromex than any of those guys. I don't know. It's... Well, you don't think I can hold my own? Hey, no one says you're not qualified. Now, if anything, you're overqualified, but it's not my call. Things are different now. But you just better make it your call. Michelle's on that plane. What? She's part of the press team that went to Washington with the vice president. Oh, Jesus Christ. Personal involvement is the worst thing that could happen to a success of a mission. But don't you think I know that? You gotta get me on that plane, Rowan. You gotta. ETA target intercept in 35 minutes. Red Squadron, tighten up formation. Switch ITS transponder to 5854. Hold standard formation and wait for my signal upon target acquisition. Roger that, right later. I don't believe you. What? I always floss under pressure. Of course, this had to happen on my interview. Now all I'll be remembered for is my horrific death at the hands of terrorists. And what do you want to bet he's not really a cameraman? <laughs> Thank you. 
How you doing? I need that. Hey, pretty boy. Me? You're the only pretty boy here. Shut your mouth. That's a good idea. Culprit, I know you've been here before. And I think we're gonna have to go with your plan, even if it is highly unorthodox. Uh -huh. Well, as you know, our options are extremely limited. We've got to exhaust every possibility. And I do not want to be forced to submit. Very well, Mr. President, we will proceed as explained. All right, gentlemen, good luck. Godspeed. The President has given Operation Intercept the go. Our options are limited, so we have to exhaust every one of them before we're forced to submit. We have just over three and a half hours. Our primary objective is to eliminate the Bromex threat. Then we have room to negotiate. A special forces team, including our chemical weapons man, Rick Harding, is assembling and preparing to scramble. Our newly modified SR-71 transporter will fly them in undetected. Once on board, they'll have approximately two hours to defuse the bomb and neutralize the situation. Hi, Dr. Rick Hardy. You know who you are. I'm Captain Ratner. This is Lieutenant Wells. Nice to meet you. Be a pleasure working for you. I wish I could say the same. There's a problem? Yeah, there is. You've got no business being on this mission. What makes you so sure of that? Ernie, what elementary school did I go to? St. Agnes of the Cross. First grade teacher was Sister Mary Ann Margaret. Favorite color is blue, and he likes the cereal without the milk. Take a look at us, Dr. Hardy. We're a team. We were trained to work together, to know everything there is to know about one another. So when it comes down to it, there'll be no guessing, just instincts. Now you're thrown into the mix, and I don't know shit about you, except I'm responsible to make sure you don't fuck this mission up. Maybe I can't do nothing about you being here. But don't expect me to pretend like I'm happy about it. Look, Radner.
spent 20,000 five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.30. Squawk 0253. Roger Tower 0253. Mr. Vice President, but I need you. Listen up. Once we're in position, Ernie's gonna neutralize the bomb. We're gonna smoke them and take them out one by one. Colpart, I notice you have sent us a little party. You Americans have much to learn. This is not the way to handle terrorist activity. Amy, you are going to tell them all to go away, or I'm going to start killing passengers. You. Do it. Do it. They're going to start killing people if you don't pull back the fighters. Hold their positions. Don't go anywhere, not just yet. Red three and four, let's turn up the heat. Roger one, let's do it. I repeat, our captors will start killing people if you don't pull back the fighters. Christ, what are they doing? Why haven't they called them off? They're calling his bluff. They're not responding. No. Okay. Let's see if they respond to this. Fuck yeah. Hello? Anybody there? need a new press secretary. Tell the 
Then we get out of here, or you'll be next. Call him off, for God's sakes. Do as they say. Please. Disengage the fighters. Red leader to red group. Break off. I repeat, break off. Roger, breaking off. They're pulling back. They're pulling back. They're pulling back. Wise decision. Please don't make me do that again. Your time is running out. Radar contact closing at 249. Roger, Freedom 2. Turn right heading 201. No one told me your wife was going to be on that plane. That's because no one needed to know. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I knew you'd screw up this operation somehow. Look, Radner, you may not like me, but don't think for one second I'm not prepared to do my job. I was commanding missions while you were learning your ABCs. So why don't you just shut up and start acting like a leader? How long to intercept? Five minutes. Gruber, can I get someone up here for a dead pilot removal, please? Dina? Yeah. Pulse. Guten Abend, is it good? Yes. God's name are you doing? You'd never understand, sir. Put the gun down, Lisa. I won't Lisa. do it, Haynes. Drop it, Lisa. No. Drop the goddamn Drop gun, Lisa. Lisa, put the gun down. I'm gonna have to shoot you. Put it down. Put it down. Thank you very much, Mr. Haynes. Kill this woman. No, Gruber, no more killing! You're in no position to demand anything, Mr. Haynes. Are we clear?
clean up this mess. Freedom 1, we have a target visual. Proceeding with approach pattern tango. Confirm Freedom 1, you are a go on approach pattern tango. Repeat, a go on approach pattern tango. 2,000 milligrams of adrenaline. You're crazy if you think I'm gonna stick myself with that thing. This is nothing compared to what Bromex will do to you. Freedom 2, continue at 238, CCIP at 4827. Three minutes to transfer. All right, listen, gear up. I want this thing smooth and by the numbers. I'll go first, remove the lower hatch, and secure the bay. Nixon, you got the rear. Looks okay here, sir. Lockdown and press run. It's time to go to work. Three minutes. Maybe we should get going. We should move. They got a new one on board. Let's go, Herney. How you doing? Freedom two to control. Only three men made it on board. Two three two. The transport arm was damaged, and we're forced to disengage early. Radner, Wells, and Harding were the only team members to make it. Over. Roger, return to base. Jesus Christ, only three on board. It's getting worse and worse. We have to give them a chance, sir.
Everything normal on cargo. Come on back. Excuse me. He needs some water. May I please get him some water? Go ahead. Why don't you get us all something while you're at it? A cola. I like your American cola. Looks like it's patched through the plane's wiring harness. It's drawing power from the plane itself. I'm telling you, these guys aren't playing around. What about that crap? Looks fine. No sign of degeneration. Ernie, how long? I don't know. Give me 10 minutes to figure out what I'm dealing with. You got five. Harding, you're with me. Let's set up for surveillance. Regardless of what he says, just take your time. Oh, excuse me, sir. Mr. Gruber. I, I've been waiting for the appropriate moment to apologize for that very unfortunate poking incident. Is there a point to this? Yes, 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 there's a point. You see, the media can be your best friend if, if you let it, you see. And we all have to be concerned with our public image, right? You know, reporters are the only people I know who gain fame and fortune off of the deeds and misfortunes of others. Always working that angle for personal greatness. Right. I despise you and your profession. I couldn't agree with you more. Shut your mouth. You are unbelievable. I know you're busy. I'll just... Have you spared, you know? Could you get me another can? Please. guys with guns, four prisoners, probably two in the cockpit. Doesn't look like it's going to be easy. It's all 
seconds left. Kidding. What kind of plane is this? Just drink it. Why don't we switch? Can't. And why's that? Because yours has caffeine, and Phil is caffeine sensitive. Aren't you, Phil? Yes, I, that makes me edgy. I think he'll survive. Fine. Suit yourself. Bottoms up. Oh. Don't drink that! My equipment never made it on board. We're on our own, man. Okay, fine. Ace two. Phase two. You don't got a phase two. You don't have a phase two. from our team? Damn. Possible they might not be alive or already captured. We have to wait just a little longer, sir. I'll give them 20 more minutes. This thing is rigged to a remote detonator, probably controlled by our friend Groover. He can blow this at any time. We gotta get that controller, man. Can you defuse it? You see these? Those are electronic sensors. If disturbed, they send a signal to the remote detonator that the device is being tampered with. These guys didn't miss a beat. I can defuse it, but it's going to take some time. Well, we got exactly one hour and three minutes, so you better start working on it. In the meantime, we gotta get some way to signal command. Wait a minute. Is there any way you can tap into the plane itself? We're just gonna have to give your boys a little more time up there. We'll create the illusion that we're going to free Asrat. Maybe you can bait Gruber along, let him talk to Asrat on the phone before the deadline. Very well, sir. All right, do whatever you have to do, but keep me posted. Take him to the airport. Check out cargo. I don't trust him, Luba. I think he might fold. If he gives any trouble, waste him. Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Mr. Briar, take altitude down, 18,000. Roger, descending to 18,000 feet. I sent through here and create some kind of transmitter. Patching in here, we will only send our feet right through to the cockpit. Well, then where would you patch in?
He's a fucking traitor! Rat. Tell me everything you know about the terrorist. This is Cole Part. Who am I speaking to? Commander Radner, sir. Over. What's the situation? Five terrorists, three hostages have already been killed, and four remain, including the vice president. All pilots have been killed. They control the plane. Over. But what's the status of the brew mix? Agent Wells is on it, sir. Says he could dismantle the bomb. We need more time, sir. for you directly with the president. And here I thought the U.S. never negotiated with terrorists. Or is this a new campaign platform? You have no need to hold anyone but me. Don't confuse courage with arrogance. You might get hurt. Ruba. Everything is secure. Very good. It's almost time. Mr. Gruber. Sit down, Mr. Baker. I'll let you know if we need you. Why now? What's the count? 46 minutes. Well, at that rate, we'll never dismantle this thing. I'm working as fast as I can. Well, it ain't good enough. I think it's time to see whether you're really as bad as you think you are. Part. According to my watch, we are due to speak with my recently pardoned friend. He's at the airport now. We'll patch you through. I must admit, Agent Colpart, I'm pleasantly surprised at the swiftness of your actions. I only hope for the sake of our passengers, the transfers will not be delayed. Well, coming up with a hundred million dollars, that's not something that can be done with a phone call. We need more time. You have the time I gave you. No more, no less. Sir, the President. This is Rowan. Put him on.
Ernie, how you doing? Slowly. But if I didn't have all this bro bags, I'd come over a lot faster. Get on it. Hello? I don't understand if... Won't the fallout from the explosion have the same effect? Our sources tell us that if the plane is destroyed at an altitude of above 10,000 feet, we can safely assume Los Angeles would be spared. We'll have to wait to the last moment. But we have to be ready. It's your call, sir. You keep your boys up there as long as you can. But if that plane falls below 10,000 feet, I think we all know what has to happen. Just keep me apprised. Yes, sir. Scramble a squadron out of Nellis. Fully loaded. Tower maintain 8,000. Right, one contact. Can position all traffic. Are you there? Go check on him. What's going on? One of them is missing. Ross. Ross. has been broken. Dina, grab the reporter. Ooh. Actually, I'm very comfortable. Me too. Don't mind. I prefer to stay here, but I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll break. Oh, press credentials. Attention, all passengers. This is a message to our uninvited guests who have rudely eliminated one of my men. I feel at this time we met face to face, so if you would be so kind as to join me and the rest of the passengers in the upper passenger area, I would appreciate it. If you fail to show yourselves by the time I count to ten, Mira here will kill this man.
Starting on your mark. Copy. Five. Six. Seven. Red leader to control. Target is lowering altitude, 11,500 and falling. No, we can't allow that plane to drop below 10,000 feet. Big freaking raise. 
push the button, that thing's useless. Let me go call your bluff on that one. Call it. Give him a warning shot. Roger, control, go into guns. I'll lay a pattern right across the bow. They'll get the message. Disengage the fighters. Evacuate the surrounding areas of LAX. Tell them to keep the runway clear until that plane comes to a full stop. Red leader to red group, disengage target. I repeat, disengage target. 
Form up and turn left heading 187. Roger, 187. Do you have a visual of the runway? Yes. Rick, you gotta pull back the accelerator. Switch the flap to number two position. Flaps. Flaps. Where's the flaps? Above you, panel Flaps. four. Four of them? That's it. Advance to number two position. Flaps. 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 What's your altitude? Here. Too low. Here. Too low. Here. Altitude is 800 Here. feet. We're moving too fast. We're moving too fast. Here. Tell everyone to brace for landing. Everyone down! Power confirms. They made it. <laughs> You're all right? Uh, yeah. Not a bad day's work. Pleasure flying with you. You okay? I'm fine. Good. Good. Rowan. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Actually, there was no time for fear. The, the lives of the other terrified passengers were all at stake, and not to mention the Vice President of the United States. And in fact, in one particularly harrowing moment, Charlie looked at me, I'm, I'm sorry, the Vice President looked at me in apparent awe of my actions, and he was shaking his head, and he said, and I quote, you are unbelievable, end quote. Agent Harding. Vice President Baker. Mr. Vice President, I want to take this moment to personally thank you. Your country is very, very grateful to you and your colleagues. You are truly fine Americans. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The wife did a great job as well. Thank you. All the best. 
We are going to Alaska. Okay. <laughs> you came by the office, you had something to say. And I was too busy. What was it? I'm pregnant. Ha, 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 ha.